Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean. I have your word for the day. Today's passage is Psalm 144. And I'm not going to read you the whole thing today. It's a little longer, but I do hope you get a chance to read it. Uh, But instead, I want to explain it to you. So Psalm 144 is a call for believers to praise God at every moment of life. Whether we are at war or we are in times of peace, God deserves and needs and desires praise. And that praise produces in us something called joy. And we're going to talk about that in a second. But but I do want to point out that that Psalm 144 to start off is talking about how, how even in times of war, God prepares our hands for battle. He is our defense and our shield. He is the one who scares off our enemies. He is the one who protects us and gives us victory. And so whatever battle you're going through right now, I want you to know that even in the battle, you can give it to the Lord. No matter what forces are against you, whether spiritual or physical, you can give this battle to the Lord and he is worth praising and being joy-filled in that praise, even in the battle. Because he, in this Psalm, is described as doing everything in the battle. All we have to do is show up and be faithful and he takes care of everything else. The same is true for the battles that we face here on earth right now. And then it talks about being in times of blessing and peace. And it talks about how our sons will thrive, our daughters will thrive, and and our flocks will will thrive, our our storehouse will thrive. And, And when we are in times of thriving, sometimes we forget to praise the Lord in those two. In fact, probably more so than times of war. And so this is a reminder of when we are thriving, it is a blessing from God. And so even more so, we should praise Him and be joy filled. I'm sure you've met a person of wealth or are a person of wealth who's acquired wealth and that wealth has not made you happy. That's because through that wealth, you're not praising the Lord. You're not seeing it for the blessing that it is. Rather, you're seeing it as your own accumulation or whatever else. But regardless, this is a reminder that in wartime and in peacetime, we are to praise the Lord. And through praising the Lord, it results in joy. Verse 15 says this, Blessed is the people of whom this is true, of all this praising in times of war and peace. Blessed is the people of whom this is true. Joy-filled is the people whose God is the Lord. Whatever situation you're going through right now, whatever's happening in your life, whatever good things you have, whatever bad things you have, praise the Lord. And if you have all these things, whether it's good or bad, and you, you don't find joy in any of them, and you're just like, there's no way I could find joy in these things, then start with praise. Start with praise as an act of obedience to Christ who calls you to praise. And through that praise of God, even in the hard times and especially in the good times, you will find joy. This is not my promise. This is the promise of God. I love you a lot, Calvary. We'll see you later. Have a good day.